Well, it's always celebration on the show, irrespective of the situation. We choose to celebrate life, celebrate positive impact, and celebrate legacy. That's what the show is about. It's happiness and joy on the side. So with that, I warmly welcome you to your favorite social diary program, Metrophile. Thank you for keeping a date with us while also asking you to be mindful of sensitive images. Once again, welcome to the program. I am Oge Chuku Osi Oyelude. All right, the Emmy of Zazao in Kaduna State, Ambassador Nuhu Bamali, has appointed the former managing director of the National Maritime Authority, Al Hadi Muniru Jafaru, of another Zazao ruling dynasty as a new Marakin Zazao, the second in command to the Emir. Now, this is a position traditionally meant for the biological first son of an incumbent Emir. Unprecedented it is, as the only time this was ever done was by the current Emir's great grandfather. Al Haji Sidi Abdul Kadri, and that was in 1853. Now let's go and enjoy the sights and sounds of the top burning of the new Mother King Zazal. It's an event that happens not very often in the Zazao Emirate Council of Kaduna State. Local musicians clad in different traditional attire on ground to welcome and entertain guests as they arrive at the palace of the Emir of Zazao in Zaria to witness the historical event. Kaduna State was the center of attention, no doubt, welcoming dignitaries to be a part of the installation of the new Madakin Zazao al Haji Munir Jafaru, who will be occupying a position that has been vacant for almost 10 years. Man of the moment, Al Haji Munir Jafaru is the former managing director of the National Maritime Authority. Al Haji Jafaru, whose father, Emir Jafaru Dan Isiaku, reigned between 1937 and 1959, was a top contender to the throne of Emir after the death of Emir Shehu Idris in September 2020. <laughs> Stop pushing now. Inside the palace, guests and kingmakers of the Zazao Emirate Council are all gathered where the rites were performed. And within a short while, the Emir, Ambassador Nuhu Bamali, now makes his pronouncement, signifying the conferment of the title of Madakin Zazao on Munir Jafaru. My grandfather, Sidi Abdul Qadir, the Serkin Zazao, 
installed your late grandfather as Madai Kinzazo. Since 1853, this title has not moved from one ruling house to another. This kind of thing brings togetherness and unity. We are calling on those coming after us to continue with the kind of things that will bring us together. We can come from different ruling houses and still be united. With this togetherness that God has brought through the new Madaiki, the bond will be stronger. Today, as the grandson of Ia Musa, you will sit here as the Madaiki. With these pronouncements, Al Haj Munir Jafaru, who was the Yarima of Zazao, has now been elevated with the title of Madakin Zazao, the highest princely title. He is now the second in command in the hierarchy of the Zazao Emirate Council after the Emir. <laughs> Although the title is usually given to first sons of incumbent emirs, irrespective of age, but this emir, in his wisdom, decided to change the tradition and has appointed Jafaru, who is from another ruling house, as the new Madakin Zazao. Because of his pedigree in public service, his vast knowledge in the traditional institution, and his birthright as a son of a former emir. So, in this context, um I looked at uh, so many factors. First, you know, uh, merit, which is very important. Uh, he has eminently qualified you know, to be, you know, the Madaiki because of his maturity, his knowledge, and uh, um, also his birthright, you know, to be uh, to occupy that position, because his late father was one of my predecessors here. So that's one. And then secondly, uh, history has repeated itself because in 1853, my great-grandfather was Sidi Abdul Qadir was the Emir. And uh, for the first time in our history of over 200 years, he graciously appointed his grandfather, great-grandfather, as the Madaiki, which was unprecedented. Um, because we're from two, you know, rival families, uh, but uh, he gave him the title of Madaki, which was the highest-ranking title. And um, uh, so, since 1853, there was never a time anybody, you know, from another ruling dynasty, you know. Uh, uh, giving or uh, turbaning another person from another, you know, uh, ruling dynasty, you know, until today. Amongst the dignitaries here include the former governor of Kaduna State, Al Haji Ramalan Yero, former governor of Niger State, Babangida Aliu, former governor of Zamfara State, Mahmoud Shinkafi as well as other royal fathers and guests, both from within and outside Kaduna State. And this is a title that is very, very important, and it's one of the strongest titles that we have in Zaza Emirates. And uh, Madai King Zazo that is being taban today is entitled to it, and uh, he has met all the requirements to be the Madai King of Zazo. And we know that it's going to be beneficial to the Zazo Emirates, Kaduna State and Nigeria at large. This activity will further unify and unite the Zazo Emirates. Having also contested for the Emirship and for him to really accept the will of Allah and for him to accept particularly this uh, particular title, which is actually the strongest or the most important title after the Emir in the Zazo Emirate. For me, it is very, very important and very good. It's, uh, it's quite an interesting uh, uh, story because uh, it's a man who has who has a wife with her, 
and capacity to be in this role. I mean, to, to handle that uh, particular chieftain's title. Um, since he is the man who has the uh, who has all it takes to be to handle that chieftain's title, and uh, we thank God that he has been given that title today, and uh, we pray for him that God will give him the way with her to be able to uh, withstand that true. The new Madakin Zazao has contributed to the development of the Zazao Emirate Council, Kaduna State, and the country in general, having served in various capacities. No wonder the Emir of Zazao thought it wise to bestow on him with the title. I know how much you know uh, he can deliver, and he was the chief executive of Maritime Authority in the 1990s, and also Railway. You know, he was there and he was company secretary in several other organizations. So somebody with that kind of pedigree, I should uh, expect so much from him. The title of Madakin Zazao comes with higher expectations and the celebrant believes that the tasks are surmountable. And it's a recognition of my little contribution to the uh, people of uh, Zazao America Council. Well, I'm sure you must be the... I'm sure you attended and during his speech, the I was my student, I told him in the I taught him in the university and we'll be very close with him. So I'm sure we're going to work together with him now to see that Emory Council is moved uh, from where it is today uh, to greater heights. Al Haji Munir Jafaru is a lawyer technocrat, administrator, and a family man. Amongst the positions he once occupied were managing director of the National Maritime Authority and chairman Nigerian Unity Bank. His father, Dan Isiaku, was the 16th Emir of Zazao who reigned between 1937 to 1959. Well, we say congratulations to the new Madakin Zazao, Alhaji Munir Jafar.